Um, there's a frog, Carl. Just a little frog, a poison arrow frog, that contains enough poison to kill over a thousand human beings. Why is it that annoyed? It's not annoyed. Well, why is it going about killing a thousand people? No, it has the potential to. It has enough poison, it has enough toxin in it that could kill a thousand human beings. But does if it does it need that? Whereabouts is this? Where's it living? Rainforest, I think. And does it need that sort of power? Is it in that much? Is it is, is it getting threatened a lot? Is what I mean. Well, no, because it's saying don't come near me, and it shows it with its colours. It's got the colours that say it doesn't want to be eaten. It doesn't want people to chew a bit, right, and go, oh, I'm an idiot. It's saying, look at my colours, don't eat me. Don't You don't want to come near me. But then why give it bright colours? Because now it's standing out. Yeah, and it's going, don't eat me. Yeah, but make it a colour that fits in, like camouflage. Why, why make it orange? Of course it's going to stand out, and then they'll attack it. And then it'll turn around and bite and kill a thousand men or whatever. No, it doesn't bite. It's the fact that if you were to eat it, you would die. Yeah, but who's, I mean, who's gonna eat it? Well, things that eat frogs. The French. <laughs> <laughs> and they yeah. go, Sacre bleu! <laughs> you have killed me and 999 <laughs> of my friends! But why, why is everything, like, surviving like this, though? I thought it was all about survival of the fittest, not yeah. the one who looks the hardest. Well, but survival of the fittest is whether you're chosen or not by nature. No, but I I'd survive if I could go about killing a thousand men at one bite. It's not fair. It doesn't bite. It's well, whatever, it, if it licks you or whatever. But no, it it, not if it licks you, if you lick it. Well, I'm not going to lick it. It's not, it's not going <laughs> to happen. I don't, I will not be licking a frog. So it's, it's of no danger to me. So I could still kill it and there's no chance, at no point am I going to lick a, a little frog's head. Not when it's alive or when it's dead. Uh, the only time a turkey whistles is when it panics. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas time then. Yeah. What do you think of that, Carl? It goes from one extreme to another, doesn't it? You've got a frog who's going mental. It's not going mental. Killing thousands of people. No, that's not. That's got that sort of power. Then you've got a turkey who's whistling for help. <laughs> 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 you think that you should redress the balance a little bit? You want to give... What would you do? Give the frog the ability to kill 500 and the turkey 500? Um, I don't think it should be killing... Uh, I reckon 10. 10, because... You've made your point with 10, haven't you? Do you well, think that he's got a thousand in his lifetime, like he's got a thousand to kill? I don't think you understand. I just think... He doesn't really kill a thousand people. It doesn't mean someone goes, Frog, you have the power to kill 1,000 people in your lifetime. Choose them wisely. <laughs> But I just think if it needs that sort of power, power, it should be fighting evil. Well, it's not. <laughs> it's it's knocking about the wrong area, isn't it? If it's under that much danger, move. 